Ahoy my hatchlings, and welcome to another episode of Zetacraft. And I, feeling good, and re-energized, and excited to be on the beautiful server that is Zetacraft. There are so many wonderful things here, and I can't wait to get started. You know, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do, and I've played around quite a bit with different ideas. And, you know, before, before I made that last episode, you know, originally I was planning to try and extend this thing, and then I had an idea to you know, build the massive industrial district, and then I came up with an idea to make a big base out in the sea. And I had designed a bunch of it, and you know, I still am going to make a big base out in the sea, but I want to start over. Now, I'm not going to completely start over, you know, I'm still going to, I'm still going to have access to all of this, all of my stuff, but I'm not going to work, I'm not going to work anymore on, on this, and I'm just going to go out into the sea, build a base, like it's 2018 again. And I'm really looking forward to it. You know, we have we have four months left of the season, and I think that's enough time to make something really cool. So yeah, I think we'll just um probably right out to to around here. This was where I was originally going to build, so I think if I do it right here, that should be just fine. And yeah, I'm excited about this. Let's fly over, grab ourselves a couple bit of materials, so we can talk about what we're gonna do. I'll say Mimisa, then Bannock Fissa, I'll say Mizuka, then Bannock Snooka, I'll say Mimisa, then Bannock Fissa, I'll say Vissa, the Octor Headnet. You know, well, I got, I got distracted, but Guru, Guru really does make just some lovely builds. Like, they put so much little details in here. Like, this doesn't need to be here for this store. And I think there's, I, I, th I thought I saw another something somewhere but there's so much just little details all over this place and i really love the way that he builds but i got very distracted from getting my ingredients let's go get those ingredients and stop singing the song that is stuck in my head okay so for this i'm gonna want a lot of white concrete oh i need oh where's my where's my ender chest oh, oh where did I leave my ender chest oh no okay is there an ender chest up here uh, oh ah <laughs> oh jesus okay ender chest there we go so, for this project, I'm going to need a lot of concrete, a lot of white concrete. I want to go back and, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and just pop that in there. Now, that's not going to be sustainable long term, so we'll need to think of some other source of concrete. But for this project, we're going to need a lot of concrete, because I kind of want to build in the style that I used to build all the way back in 2018, that hyper-modern style of white concrete gray concrete and the blue glass but i think i'm going to vary it a little bit i think i'm going to use cyan glass and i think i'm going to use uh uh cyan terracotta just because it's not concrete and concrete's a pain concrete is such a pain okay so this is the color palette that i want to go with you know it's very classic just ultra ultra futuristic build and you know i think this is going to work really well so uh, well, first I should probably convert the rest of this concrete powder. Okay, got my helmet now, so hopefully I can actually place the blocks. I think I actually want to come a, a little bit further this way, and I think I might center myself just right on this right on this little hill thing here, because that will mean I won't have to place nearly as many blocks. Eh, I'll just, I'll just go right here. Uh, let's... Eh, I guess it doesn't need to be lined up on a block. Uh, I'll just... Okay, so I'm going to go 75 blocks in each direction, as I think how big I want each of these, you know, petals to be. So what I'm imagining is, like, you know, something with four petals coming off, and then four more petals. And I think that's where I want to start for now, is with, you know, just some petals. And, you know, here we're actually right about halfway between the main island and backpack space here. So this should hopefully work, should hopefully work pretty okay. Let's... Let's go ahead and quickly put down those put down those lines. Okay, so I actually wound up making them a slight bit larger. And you know, for, from years of working with Lightmatica, my scale of, of what something big is, like I know this is gonna take me a long time, but it looks so small. <laughs> it looks really small actually. But I think I wanna shift it over a little bit closer to to this land here. I think I'm just gonna shift it to the end of this block there. So let's just let's just move that over real quick. Because I think it's just a little bit too far from everything. You know, it's just kind of out in the middle of the sea on its own. Okay, 
So I've gone ahead, shifted this over a little bit, so I'm a bit closer to the land, and I think that's I think that's a better location. This this still looks really small to me. We'll, we'll lay it on the curve and see how it goes. I've done the math for how to lay it down, and you know I have all the blocks right here. So let's just go ahead and do that. So while I do this, I kind of want to just tell a story. So we'll have story time with splashes. The so story time with splashes. I went to Carnival this past weekend, and I had a really great time. Now, I'm in Zeeland, and it's not really a Zeeland thing, it's more of a Brabant and Limburg thing. So, I met over my friend in Brabant, uh, and we met in uh, Kielachat. Uh, and, you know, the, fir the, the, the first day we decided we are going to go over to Krakostad, and it was, it was, a, it was an adventure to get there. It was a, it was a real adventure to get there. Uh, but, you know, I was told to dress up, and so this was my costume. I decided to be a wizard. So I got myself a bathrobe, some, you know, I had a t-shirt and a pair of shorts that, you know, kind of looked vaguely like undergarments, but they, they worked okay. Uh, and then I got a spoon for my magic wand. Uh, and for all of the Star Trek fans wondering, my spoon is a, or my wand is a uh, oak shaft with a kyber crystal core. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then for a hat, I wanted to get a boot. I wanted to have a, you know, have a, just have a boot on the top of my head. But that, I couldn't get a boot. So I flipped through various ideas, and originally I was going to, you know, th then I thought, oh, I'll wear a potato chip bag. But then potato chip bags are a lot smaller here in the Netherlands than they are in America. So that didn't work either. And then... You know, so what I eventually wound up doing is I just took a shopping bag that I had, a canvas shopping bag, and I stuck it on my head, and you know what? It worked great. Uh, and you know, I I got a I got quite a few compliments on my on my hats, uh, and my friend told me that I I did very much understand the assignment, and apparently I got a very uh, classic carnival look. So, yay, go me. Uh, but it, <laughs> honestly, I kind of like the the look of the bag on my head. You know, I don't know. The little fabric covering the hair. It's kind of nice. I don't know. I kind of like it. So anyway, the first day, we decide to go to Krakostad. Uh, and <laughs> so we wound up missing the first bus. That's fine. Whatever. There's another bus in a half hour. It's fine. So we get on that bus, head over to the station. And, you know, we, 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 we go up to the station. We go up to the, the platform. And we find out the train has been cancelled. The uh, the train, I guess, hit something or whatever, and you know it wasn't running, and it wasn't going to be running until like an hour and a half later or something, or an hour later. I was like, okay, fine. I guess we'll just take the bus, which is annoying because the train is so much faster than the bus and so much more roomy than a bus. But we go over to the bus, and. Well, we don't get on the first bus. Okay, fine. Whatever. We wait in line for the second bus, and we barely get on that bus. Uh, unfortunately, Tom was nice enough to let me sit down because, you know, I'm disabled and uh, I can't walk super well. So that was, that was really nice. Uh, but then this bus was so incredibly slow. It was, it was incredibly, incredibly slow, and we... Uh, you know, we, we, we kept getting stuck behind things and just, it was so crowded that in the end, you know, we got stuck behind a parade and then the parade float broke down and we were just sitting there for like 15 minutes uh, that we wound up actually behind the bus after us. And it was so slow that, you know, it was, it was something like a two hour bus ride to go from Kilachat to Krakostad and it should not have been a very long ride. Uh, that if we had waited and taken the train, we would have gotten to Krakostad before we did taking the bus. So that was that, that was a thing. Uh, but in Krakostad, it was it was incredibly busy. You know, we we, we managed to find a, a quiet place eventually, but oh my goodness, was it was it really busy? But I loved all the costumes, and you know, it was really cool, really fun. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love all the costumes, the different things, and people really liked my hat. People, love people loved my hat. Uh, yeah, so we watched the parade, and then after that we went home, because, you know, it's very loud, it's very crowded, 
The air is incredibly acrid with smoke. Uh, and it was an amazing time. I really had a lot of fun, but I was exhausted by the end of that. So we went home. And going home was much easier. <laughs> that one we were able to that one we were able to get on the train. And what's cool is the sprinter train actually changes the the city names. So, you know, it, it actually says, you know, Kilastat and or, sorry, Kilachat and Kraukestat. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we the next day we went over the parade in uh Kilachat and you know, that one was a lot less crowded. And it was nice. I had a great time. But my feet, though, really hurt by the end of it. I think next year I need to bring a chair. Uh, overall, the holiday is incredibly silly. It's, it's so ridiculous, and I absolutely love it. And it's kind of a pity that it's not a thing in Zeeland. Uh, but, you know, I guess I can... You know, maybe, maybe next year I can meet some friends in uh, Krakowstad again. And, you know, that was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed myself. So that that was that was my adventure this this past week uh, before I'm now coming back and recording this. So what well, with that, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm recording this recording this while I'm not actually building the thing because trying to place blocks in a specific counting while talking is not easy. So I'm let's just let's just go back to let's go back to present me instead of, you know, future me. Bye bye. OK. Well, that's all done, and you know, uh, going from going from using Lightmatic all the time to having to count blocks again uh, is a very slow process, especially building these giant curves. So I went ahead and changed the shape just a little bit. I extended it out a little longer, and it's kind of a bit more of a football shape than kind of what I wanted. I think I wanted a little bit wider, but I think yeah, that looks like a pedal. That looks like a pedal. I think that'll work. I think that'll be okay. But <laughs> You know, just these lines and this single petal, the outline of the petal, has used almost my entire supply of blocks. Uh, I think I'm going to have to come up with a different solution because I do think I have enough diamonds, but Drop doesn't have enough concrete, <laughs> so I need to I need to come up with a solution. Uh, but yeah, you know, there we go. Very first petal. Exciting. Well, with a distinct lack of, you know, materials to work with, uh, I think I'm going to check to make sure with the other Zetas to make sure that they're okay with me building here, that I'm not encroaching on any space. Uh, and I think I might just call that an episode there. And, you know, we've we've got the start. We have started over, and I am I'm super excited, and I can't wait to uh, go ahead and add in all these other petals, and... Oh, this is... This, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see how this looks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!